How's it going out there? This is Feed Your Mind. And so, scientists have admitted that they injected human DNA into food that we consume. So, they've admitted that they've injected this obesity gene from humans into potatoes and rice so far. They also said they experimented with grass and trees and with all of the experiments so the potatoes grew larger and faster and much larger might i add the rice well those crops increased dramatically and grew faster the grass same thing and the trees grew larger and faster as well so it looks like this human dna makes things grow faster and larger but with them admitting that they're experimenting with this stuff on our food well how long before this ends up in supermarkets and grocery stores across the world and i might even go a step further and question if this technology has already been implemented into the GMO process because all this time people have been seeing the GMO foods in the grocery stores and it doesn't even seem like it's really announced like I'm not sure about the legality of everything but it doesn't appear that there's any real um, labels saying that the food is GMO like if I walk past the apples, I just see a bunch of huge apples, almost the size of mini basketballs. Now I might be exaggerating a bit, but you know, it's pretty close. I mean, these apples are huge, like, and also the oranges. And then I noticed the opposite with the clementines, like all of a sudden there's small oranges that are easy to peel. They're advertised as easy to peel and they have no seeds in them. So it doesn't have a clear sticker saying this is GMO. This has been altered food. The only thing I really see clear labels on is the non GMO. Now that section I, you can see in the grocery stores, it'll say non GMO. It gives you a heads up. Otherwise it doesn't look like they have any obligation to give you a heads up. So with, the scientists admitting that they're injecting human obesity genes into foods now. Like I said, I mean, how long have they been actually doing this is the question. And does this mean that the food is technically human DNA in it? So does that mean we're like cannibals now if we eat the food that has human DNA in it? I mean, that seems to be going against free will now. Like if you're gonna be, if these scientists are gonna be injecting human DNA into foods, I mean, it, it seems like we should definitely be aware, be made aware of that clearly before purchasing the food. So now this gives me even more reason to stay away from those huge apples and those huge oranges I see that are definitely not natural. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was listening to Richie from Boston the other day and he said something about meats containing human flesh. And I'm like, that seems plausible. I mean, because when you eat hot dogs and hamburgers, this is all ground up uh, meat. So the meat is, is basically, from what I understand is, well, they take the steaks and all the good quality meat from the animal and then whatever's left on the table, they just grind up into hot dogs and hamburger meat. So Richie from Boston is suggesting that it's possible human flesh sometimes might be um, contained in this stuff, but I don't know, I mean, I haven't came across any real legitimate information on that, but 
as far as this human DNA being injected into um, produce like vegetables and fruits, well, I got information on that for you. So I'll leave a link in the comment section in the description box so you can verify this for yourself. And so, yeah, it just gives me more caution to really, maybe I have to take it more, well, after this information, I'm definitely going to take it more serious about it's like I should probably go the extra step and make sure I'm eating GMO free food, which I believe they call organic as well. But yeah, it's like I just want to I don't I don't appreciate them experimenting with this. It just doesn't seem natural at all. And what does it do to the person consuming the food? Does that mean the person consuming the food is going to have a lot of extra obesity genes that they're consuming will that affect their body like will that make them become obese maybe i don't know i mean like i said they according to the research released on this information it appears like they're just now really experimenting with this. Well, they, they already have experimented with it and they have the studies and reports out. But like I said, I mean, how long have they been doing this? Like if they're just now releasing this to the public, there's a chance that they may, might have been doing this for some time now. So it's time that we pay attention to what we're consuming even more. And so, like I said, link will be in the comment section and the description box. I'll also leave a link to my other channels and my social media. And if you would like to donate to the channel, you can donate as little as a dollar to help keep things going here at Feed Your Mind. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Signing off.